It seems like acronyms are everywhere these days, right? Most of us use acronyms every day without even thinking about them. When professionals use long terms repeatedly, they tend to get shortened. For example, ICU, Intensive Care Unit, GIF, Graphics Interchange Format, or SCUBA, Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus. The mortgage industry is no exception. Since there are so many acronyms, this video will go fast, and we will almost definitely not get to them all. But I'll try to hit some of the major ones. Are you ready? Here we go. FHA, Federal Housing Administration. FHA is a type of loan you can get. They tend to have lower down payments. The loans are guaranteed by the federal government. USDA, US Department of Agriculture. This is a loan type that is offered in specific areas. The home you're buying will have to qualify for this loan type to be an option. And no, it's not just farms. FICO, Fair Isaac Corporation. You'll hear this in conjunction with your credit score. Sometimes people will just refer to your credit score as this. ARM, Adjustable Rate Mortgage. This is a type of mortgage that will have a fixed rate for a set period of time, and then the rate is able to be adjusted. AUS, Automated Underwriting System. The system is the first step in underwriting approval. APR, Annual Percentage Rate. The APR is the annual percentage rate you would pay on the loan once all costs are factored in. It is also known as the annual cost of a loan to you, the borrower. PMI, Private Mortgage Insurance. Most lenders or banks require you to have private mortgage insurance if you put down less than 20%. Normally, this is calculated as part of your monthly payment and can sometimes be taken off after so much is paid on a loan. DTI, debt to income. A measurement of what you owe monthly in comparison to what you make. TRID, TILA RESPA Integrated Disclosures. A newer term to the scene, it was enacted in 2015, and it outlines what information has to be provided to you, the borrower, and how soon after the application is taken, or how far before closing. LE, a loan estimate. This is a form that is required to be sent to you within three business days of your application, a time period set out by TRID. CD, compact disc. Just kidding, this is closing disclosure. This has to be sent to the borrower three business days before closing. Another TRID rule, and it is designed to help the borrower understand all the costs of their mortgage. LOX, a letter of explanation. Your mortgage specialist or a member of their team may ask for one of these for additional information on your credit or bank account. You may have to explain that large deposit from when you sold your patio furniture in preparation for your big move. PITI, Principal Interest Taxes and Insurance. This is generally a term for the whole monthly payment. It may also include HOA or homeowner insurance fees. Hey, a two for one. LTV, Loan to Value. This is the ratio that divides the amount to be borrowed by the value the appraiser placed on the home. For example, if a home appraises for $100,000 and the borrower provides a down payment of $20,000, the loan has an LTV of 80%. HUD, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, the primary housing and lending regulatory authority in the United States. PUD, planned unit development, generally a term heard when buying a new build or in a newer neighborhood. The communities tend to look more like single family residence homes or townhomes, but on paper seem more like condos. FSBO, for sale by owner. No explanation needed here. REO, real estate owned. Generally a property that is owned by a bank, builder, or lender that went into foreclosure. LOS, loan origination system. A general term for the software used by banks and lenders. LOL, your mortgage specialist is not laughing at you. In lending, LOL means life of loan. If you are doing a refi, you may hear the term HELOC, which is Home Equity Line of Credit. This is a loan where the equity you have in your home is used as collateral. Or you may hear EARL, VA Interest Rate Reduction Refinance Loan. This refinance loan allows you to lower your interest rate on an existing VA home loan. 
and that's just a sampling of the terms you may hear in your mortgage process. Make sure if you hear an acronym you don't know that you ask your mortgage specialist or team member. It is important that you understand your loan process since buying a home is one of the biggest financial decisions you'll make. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or email us at info at callequity.com. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you've not already. And as always, thanks for watching.